Hi everyone, this is just a quick video that I've made in response to a question that's come in from Jamie McFarlane, who was looking to use cluster buttons and being able to tag possessions for both teams when the ball's in play and also working on different thirds of the pitch. So clusters is something that you can use in Naxport Pro Plus or Elite. And here you can see we've got button clusters on. So let me just show you how this runs first and then we'll take a look at the settings that we've used to enable this. So let's say, obviously this isn't going to relate to the video, but let's say that we've got, um, we start with possession in the defensive third. So I'm going to click here and you see that I've turned on possession own, all in play defensive third. As we move up the pitch, middle third is on which has turned defensive third off and I've still got ball in play and possession own on. Let's say now that the opposition get the ball in the middle third, if I click over here, I've turned on possession off, which has turned off possession own. We're still in the middle third, and then I can move through my zones here. I prefer to press the escape key to turn off all manual mode buttons at once, but I have a button here that I've pressed, which is out of play, and that is automatically turning those buttons off. So let's say opposition get it in the middle third. So ball in play is on, possession off, and middle third is on. Let's move to a different area. Now the opposite, uh, we get it, so that goes on, and then I'm going to press escape to turn all of these off. So let's look at how that's created. If we edit the template here, right at the very back, I've got a ball in play button, and I've set a nickname of BIP, and I've set the text to be on the mid left, which is why I can see mid left here. You see this black, uh, sorry, the blue outline here, which is shown where that button is positioned. And importantly, I've put a vertical order of two, minus two, so that's always at the back. I have then got um, my defensive third, middle third, and attacking third buttons. So they take up this physical space here. Okay, these are vertical order zero. Then I've got my possession buttons with a vertical order of one that sit on the top, and these extend over the edge. Okay, so if I click here, it's only ever pressing that possession off button. If I click here, where my mouse cursor is, that's gonna press possession off, the attacking third button, and also the ball in play button. Okay. Now what I've done is, because they're all manual mode buttons, when we go to behaviour I've used some exclusions. So for example, uh, defensive third, we've made it exclusive to middle third and attacking third, uh, vice versa with these. Possession, we've made those exclusive, so possession up is exclusive to possession own and vice versa. And then I made an out of play button, which is exclusive to all of those. Okay, so that's how we've set this up, which means that if I click here, it's going to click possession own, then defensive third and ball in play. So all those three are on. If I click down here, there's no other buttons underneath, so it's just turning on my middle third. And that exclusive link is turned off defensive third. Same with attacking third to middle third. Now if I go up here, there's no button underneath, so possession op has turned off possession own. Okay, now I could move through my zones again. And like I said at the start, I could press escape to turn these all off, or I could press the out button, which is now registering a new clip and has turned off all the other ones because that had an exclusive link. Hopefully that gives you a practical example, and don't forget to, uh, to check out that Knack Sport Template Laws Masterclass video that we've also got on our YouTube for a really detailed look at clusters, activations, graphic descriptors, and the descriptor law.